What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So in this video, I want to talk about Concord and the conversation, you know, just around the multiplayer landscape right now. Y'all know I always have this conversation every now and again um, about the state of multiplayer games and what I believe needs to be done. So we got to see Concord gameplay. They started out with a CG trailer um, and then we got to see gameplay uh, a little bit after all this went down at the PlayStation uh, state of play that happened this week. And Concord is a, uh, a hero shooter. It's a 5v5 uh, first person hero shooter. And it's been met with overwhelmingly negative uh, reception. Like the, the dislikes, the, I don't know the exact amount of dislikes it, have, it has, but I think it's like the likes are like 18%. <laughs> It only has like 18% positive reception and the rest is just neg negative. So people aren't happy about it. People did not like what they saw. The only thing I'm a little bit surprised by is it, it seemed like a, a lot of people didn't know what this game was going to be, right? Maybe that's because word didn't spread enough and like maybe Sony and PlayStation didn't, uh, I guess, spread the word enough or establish what type of game this was going to be. Because I saw some people that thought like, oh, this game was going to be some, uh, you know, story driven single player game. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like what? That that's what surprised me. The negative negative reception wasn't surprising. You know, I kind of expected that. But the people thought it was going to be a single player game. Uh, OK. I, I guess maybe that's, you know, more of the casual side that were a little bit surprised and they thought. When they saw the CG trailer, that that's they thought that was that's what the CG trailer implied. But when I look at that CG trailer, to me, that clearly implied like some type of PvP game. That's what it looked like to me, right? It, that Overwatch style of uh, introducing a game. That's clearly what it looked like to me. But that's neither here nor there. I was just a little bit surprised by that. So. The million dollar question is whether Concord is going to be a success or a absolute fucking failure. Now, gun to my head, right? Gun to my head. If I had to lean towards one, I'm definitely going to lead lean towards more of a failure. But more surprising things have happened. I'm not saying it has no chance. Whether this game succeeds or fails will absolutely it is absolutely contingent upon the PC community. The reason it is, is because the five, five V five first person hero shooter genre that lives and dies on PC. That's like the PC bag. That's PC bait, right? If, if you wanted to make a game and I, I don't know if, if you wanted to make like, just, Hey, we got to make a game and we don't have much confidence in it. But we want to give it a shot at succeeding, low-hanging fruit, make a 5v5 hero shooter FPS. Maybe, maybe the PC community will, for some reason, uh, latch on to it and, and, and like it. Because that's their bag. That's their shit. They like that type of stuff. It's, it's popular on PC, right? So I, I kind of feel like the game just, the, the game, it, it does feel late to the party for once. And it feels a little bit contrived. like somebody who some it feels like more of a decision from an executive than a creative where an executive would see like hey look 5v5 fps hero shooters dumb dumb shits is popping on pc gamers gamers love that make that shit more than a create more than something a creative would decide to make and like yeah this game has been in development for a few years of course and they probably developed it at a you know at a time when these type of games were at their were at their height um and people were loving them but you got to be able to see into the future a little bit when it comes to game development because you got to think about the timing of when you are going to release a certain genre of game because that shit might not be popping no more by the time you release it right because at this point people are getting tired of the the hero shooters they're getting ti tired of the the battle royales they're they're tired of the the cod clones the the you know the overwatch all all the, the you know the cs go spiritual successors and 
and all that type of shit that the most popular type of online games they still may be the most popular but people are getting tired of new ones constantly popping up they're satisfied with, with, with what they got, but they don't want to keep getting new ones. The shit is get people are people are getting jaded, right? If like five years, five some odd years ago, if, if you announced, hey, five, five V five F, FPS hero shooter uh, or battle royale, like, listen, people are like, you know, OK, you know, I, I think we down with that. You announced that in 2024. People are like, bro, another one. People are scoffing at that shit like, oh, Hero Shooter and Battle Royale don't have the same zing they had five years ago, bro. Yeah, like you motherfucker, you creatives, executives, whoever making these decisions, y'all gotta understand that shit. That shit is not that shit ain't, ain't fly as it was as it once was. It's it's not. So that's why I say gun to my head. It 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 I I I would lean towards it failing because I think there are certain factors that really contribute to whether these multiplayer live service games succeed or fails right because a lot of people just as, as soon as people hear live service it's a it's a negative word to them and i've stood on my square and on an island saying live service is not the issue it's how you it's how you execute it because listen we got to remember hell divers came out 3 4 months ago and nobody saw the success that that would have. And under, I understand, you know, that's a PVE. These are PVPs. It's different. But my point is that nobody really saw that, su that success coming. But that game had things working for it that something like a Concord game um, doesn't. You know, for example, with, with Helldivers 2, I mean, if you wanted to play a game like that, what other choice do you have besides Helldivers 2? There's not really any other game that you could, that you could, if that's your shit, if that's your bag, if you have an audience for that type of game, what else are they going to play besides Helldivers 2? There's nothing else. There's nothing else. I think, so that's why I think one of the biggest contributing factors, if you want to make a live service game, and I've said this so many fucking times before, make something that, that, that fills and satisfies satisfies a need. Don't make another game that people already have. Come up with something that people don't have that at the bare minimum, if your game isn't that fucking good, bro, if there's an audience for it, where else are they going to fucking go? You know what I'm saying? Like it, it it's it's like if you have a if you're in a a, a neighborhood with a, that's a food desert and you put a whole, you put a whole's food in there. Where, where the fuck else are people gonna go? There's no other supermarket. There's no other place to buy groceries. And even if it's not a whole's food, even if it's like a some dingy fucking supermarket, where the fuck else are people gonna go? They have no other choice. If that's their shit, if they need some food, where the fuck else are they gonna go? You know what I'm saying? So that that works in your favor, even if your game is not that good. Where else? Where else are they gonna go? And Helldivers 2, yes, it's a good game. But once again, if they wanted some, if people wanted something else in this like genre, where else are they going to go? Nowhere, right? I also think art style plays an important part. Another thing I've, I've, I've kept saying, if, if you want your game to stand out, because I think being unique in art style, uh, gameplay, um, just all those factors, bro, you got to be unique in all facets. It doesn't help you to, to have an art style that literally just looks like it could be in the Overwatch universe. Like with Concord, if you took one of the characters, any of the characters from Overwatch and literally just copied and pasted them, pasted it into Overwatch, it might look, a, it might, I don't think it would stand out that much. It wouldn't stand out that much. You know what I'm saying? It would it, maybe it because of the. And, and I do like the art style for Concord, that's I, that's not the problem with the game necessarily, but you know what I'm saying? Like it, it, all these games are too fucking ubiquitous. All of them look like they were made by the same developer at the same time in the same room. They look all look like they're in the same goddamn universe. Why? And that's a problem. 
that's a problem. And I, I'm going to be ranting a little bit and because I have a, you know, I, I put a lot of my thoughts on, on Twitter yesterday and single player games were really important to multiplayer. Right. When we talk about the three, the PS3 360 era was the golden age of multiplayer games. Because what was happening, even even the tacked on the, the tacked on multiplayers that we got during that era are better than some of the games that we the multiplayer games that we get now, in my opinion, because when you created that, when they created a single player, that was the foundation for their multiplayer. That was the foundation for how the game was going to look, how it was going to play the lore, the rules, all all of that shit. Because so essentially the multiplayer was a just was just a spin off of how the single player plays, right? So if you were, if you were, and that's what a lot of the, you know, the, the developer's goals are, is to create a unique single player, then inherently your multiplayer would also be unique by gameplay, by art style, by lore, all of that shit, the rules of the universe, all of that shit would inherently also be unique. But right now, what you have is these a bunch of these multiplayer games that don't actually have any like essentially what these multiplayer games are games are when they're being in when they being when they're being conceptualized and, and the inception of them. They're the brainchild of other already existing IPs and games. So that's essentially why you're getting so many clones because there's no unique foundation that they were built upon. They're looking around instead of looking at themselves and coming up with unique ideas themselves. All, all of these multiplayer only games that developers are making, they're looking around at, at the field. They're seeing what everybody else is doing. So unless Con bringing it back to Concord a little bit, unless Concord has something that we can't see from just looking at it, that is so fucking good, so fun that maybe we can't see from just watching it. Unless it has that, it's probably going to be on the failure side. But there's a possibility that once you play it and PC gamers, for example, see like, oh, this is this is actually different than i thought it would be just looking at it because sometimes that does happen in games where you look at a game and you think like yo this is going to be complete ass and then you play it and you're like this shit is fire that doesn't happen a lot but it does happen does happen sometimes so that's what i think a, a big problem is with a lot of these multiplayer only games is they have no foundation of of single player so a game like, I don't know, like and, and a bunch of games that you could argue were very untraditional and you wouldn't expect them to have a multiplayer during that PS3 360 era had multiplayers like a Dead Space, for example. It, it wasn't like the greatest multiplayer. I think it was Dead Space 2, but at least it didn't play like everything else. If you get what I'm saying, like some people, you, you know, you had the Necromorphs versus, um, you know, just the regular players and shit like that. Um, you know, e even like, I don't know, the, like the God of War Ascension multiplayer, uh, which I liked it, it, the game was built upon the foundation of the single player. So it did not play like anything else. We were at least getting unique experiences then. So in a multiplayer landscape where everything is so damn samey, it's the ones that are different that are going to succeed in my in my opinion and by my estimation looking around and once again pointing to hell Di hell divers by all intents and purposes is a 360 ps3 era style game by the way it looks and plays definitely by the way it plays so because literally hell divers 2 is just hell divers 1 just third person not top down that's all it is and hell divers 1 was a ps3 360 game that's 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 all it is and it's a success. And I have this argument all the time with people in Discord, you know, people on the podcast. I say all the time that it's very clear that gamers now 
are tired, bro. They are tired of the hero shooters, the battle royale, the COD clones, whatever you want to call them. The most popular style of game, they're getting jaded and they're getting tired. There's no excitement around a lot of these new games that are coming up. So I believe the first Brave Soul developer to say, hey, let's go back. Let's take a step back and let's go. Let's do something traditional again from that old era. I believe they are going to. They I believe they're going to take off. I believe they are really going to find major success. I, I truly believe that. And. And, and a lot of people tell me, oh, no, BG, it wouldn't work. It didn't work back. It didn't, you know, they weren't the most popular back then and all that sh- and all that shit. If the gamers, if if it, if it was, if that was going to work, uh, why wouldn't anybody do it, bro? You can make that. You can sometimes I keep saying sometimes you have to show gamers what they want. Sometimes the gamer does not know. Before Battle Royale became one of the biggest fads and the biggest, you know, crazes before Nobody was asking for a battle royale game. Nobody was nobody was saying, hey, you know, you know what I think would be a fire idea? Let's drop a hundred people on one map and let them kill each other. Nobody was asking for that. Nobody it wasn't an idea that was being floated around, you know, among gamers. Nobody thought about that until somebody did it and people was like, yo, this shit is fucking fire. And you and when I bring up games like when I bring up the idea of bringing, bringing back shit like SOCOM Resistance Kill Zone, people always think of those games as they were then. If you bring back these games now, they would not play like your idea of them all like 10 years ago. They would be modernized. They would be rehauled. They would be rebooted for a modern audience. They would still have the, the integrity and they would still be true to themselves. But but they would still make the changes to cater to a modern audience. We see it all the time with. I'm going to use single player examples. There's a bunch of single player games. That. During like five, ten years ago, maybe they sold three, four, five million. Now you see them now. They're selling 10, 15, 20 million. The same IPs just rehauled, rebooted, some changes made. And now they're now they're blockbuster sellers selling more than all of the original uh, games from before. So that's why I just I, I, you can't tell me that some of these games, some of these older IPs would not work today. And even if you believe they wouldn't work today. You can't tell me that someone shouldn't take a chance on them. If you are going to green light a game like Concord, if you are going to look at Concord and say nobody fucking wants that that shit right now, then you should not have a problem with taking a chance on something that you at least absolutely know there is a fan base for that some, a decent amount of people would love for it to come back. You know what I'm saying? You you can't you can't say oh, a, a, a some bullshit hero shooter. Nobody wants that shit. Um, why would they make this? It's only got 18 percent likes. That's dumb. But also tell me no, they shouldn't make Resistance, SOCOM, or Killzone again. You can't tell me that because if you can take the chance on that, you could definitely fucking take the chance on this. You there's you 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 are you absolutely have to agree that something like SOCOM, Killzone. Or resistance has a better chance than Concord. You you got to agree with that. You ha- you have to. If you be- if you're one of the people who seems to be disliking this this you know what you saw with Concord, you got to agree to like at least take a chance on something like like what's what we've had before, when there's clearly evidence that people want a shift. Whether, listen, maybe it's not a shift backwards. I believe what we need with multiplayer is a shift backwards. But maybe it's a shift forward. It's definitely not with what we come, what we have now with all these hero shooters and, 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 and uh, battle royales and all these, you know, COD clones or whatever the fuck. It's definitely not this. This ain't it. Multiplayer is an ex- the most exciting thing to happen to multiplayer recently is Helldivers. 
That's the most exciting thing. The, that's, that's the most different thing to happen. Bro, e- even timing is, in, timing is important. You could, you could make a case that a lot of these multiplayer games that weren't the, mo- the, you know, the biggest successes a bunch of years ago, it's because of timing. Timing, timing makes a difference. A lot of these games, like, like when, like Mag, right? I didn't, I actually didn't like Mag all that much, but Mag, you could absolutely make the argument that the problem with Mag is it was way, it it was ahead of its time. Mag came out at the wrong generation. That's the problem with Mag. It was because you you could absolutely argue, bro, like that huge, you know, this huge, uh, I, don't, I forgot how many players it was in MAG. You could absolutely just argue like, bro, that came out just two generations too soon. It, it was a. It, it, it was, you know, it, it suffered from the time when it came out, whether it be because of technology, people weren't embracing that. At the time, what people want changes during the, dur- during the time. So I just I just refuse to believe, and I'm not hearing people no more when they tell me that something you know bringing back something and modernizing it wouldn't wouldn't work because you're thinking about how it played then and not how it could play now. Like these 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 games that come out now, bro. They just why. Do, all of these motherfuckers just look like they're goddamn related once again, whether it's gameplay, whether it's art style, what, whatever, bro. Just off of the fact that there would be nothing that looks like Killzone. There would be nothing that, look, let's take SOCOM. If you wanted to play a strategic third person shooter right, right now, right? Like PVP, what do you got? Siege? Maybe some stray random PC obscure games. Where, where, where's the competition? Like Concord has like a million contemporaries and rivals that it has to overcome to succeed. A bunch of them. SOCOM wouldn't have that much competition. Killzone really wouldn't have that much competition. It it. Depending on how you make it, SOCOM not that much, Killzone some maybe, but it de- and and I, I truly believe people want to go back to like a time where you had multiple modes. Like one of the thing that blows my fucking mind about like a lot of these multiplayer games now is like, bro, a lot of these shits be like just essentially you're getting you're paying for a the, the the multiplayer is a mode the multiplayer be one mode sometimes with the, with these new multiplayer games whereas before you would get you would have a multitude of modes to to pick from bunch of maps like th- there was just so much variation before it's not like that now it's man it's it's I, I just I just need somebody to take the goddamn risk, bro. Somebody take a risk. And I truly believe and I, I, I truly believe it'll work. I, I just don't know how you can look at the landscape and, and say that, no, that wouldn't work. They shouldn't do that. It don't even got to be an old an older IP is what I'm saying. If somebody just t- creates a new IP, but it plays in the same style of one of those games or a game from a previous era, that shit would work. But no, all of them are just making. And, I've, and I don't want to completely knock cl- clones, right? Because, look, I think if you, quote unquote, copy a game, but you make it better, I have no problem with that. I, I truly have no problem with that because I think like some of the best games just look at other games and improve upon them. But I don't think in the multiplayer space, most of these games are like drastically improving upon what the what the original did. Like I said, maybe Concord has has something that we don't know about that truly 
you know, makes it rise, you know, to the cream. It's going to be the cream of the crop and, it's, you know, it, it's going to rise. I don't I don't I don't know. I, I, I truly don't know. Like, it, I know there's a lot of disgruntled fans and unhappy fans with the state of Overwatch. So maybe there's the possibility that. It could siphon and steal the Overwatch crowd, which that, you know, the whole Overwatch genre is getting crowded. I, there's there's games I've never even heard about. That's apparently people compare to Overwatch. There's that Marvel game. And then there's there's this game called Deadlock. I've never even seen or never even heard of. Apparently, it's another Overwatch clone. Why? Why? Why do you? Why? Make a game. Where you're going to have a shit ton of competition when you could just create something unique and there's nobody fighting you over that player base. You know what I'm saying? It's like make your own audience instead of trying to capitalize and steal somebody else's audience. They're already you're already going to compete over time anyway. Why compete over this? Like why? Why? I say this all the time, right? If if and this was proven during that that previous generations, the worst way to compete with Call of Duty for example, is to make another Call of Duty. That's the worst thing to possibly do. If you, it, The worst way to compete with Overwatch is to make another Overwatch. Like, bro, we got Overwatch at home. Like, I don't know if these, these, these people who make these decisions get this shit. If, if I have something that already, already scratches that, that itch and satisfies, satisfies that, I don't need another one. Like, bro, provide a need. There, there are gaps in the industry that are not being fulfilled. And instead of filling those, you know, th those empty slots, all y'all are doing is just filling the, the, the same file cabinet that's already full. Making more hero shooters on top of hero shooters on top of hero shooters. Bro, that cabinet's full. We have no more room for hero shooters. Please go to another genre and fulfill that need. You will find an audience there. I promise you, if you plant it, it will grow. It's some genres, it's not like they, they don't exist because nobody wants to play them. Some of these genres don't exist because none of you motherfuckers have just made the shit yet. It's the same shit I said with Battle, Battle Royale, bro. I'm telling you, dog. Like, no, if the worst way to the worst way to compete with something is to do the same thing. During the PS3 360 era, it was one of the one of the worst. It, it was the golden age of multiplayer, but it also had like some really annoying bad habits because there were a million Call of Duty clones. Guess what? All of them failed. All of them failed. You're 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 most likely not going to be able to beat the original in popularity with these multiplayer games if they're if they're like the first to do it unless you do something drastically different like like with with player unknowns battle royale right player was it pub yeah pub fortnite came after it but the whole building thing is what like really separated it granted people hate that building shit now and they're doing just no build but still it it did something drastically different it had a completely different art style it had a very different gameplay it distinguished itself all of these games y'all are not distinguishing these games from one another with play style with gameplay nothing so it's like not likely gonna work out for y'all look i'm tired of having this conversation i i like I, I really just want somebody to, to take a chance and I, I want people to stop telling me that this is a bad idea. Uh, what I'm talking about to go back to the traditional days of multiplayer. Because you can. You can still. Make these games games as a service. I'm not saying don't make it a games as a service. But if y'all don't take a hint. From Helldivers, y'all are morons because Helldivers is a games as a service. People who say they hate games as a service like Helldivers. You know why? Because it doesn't really feel like a games as a service. You could, you could like, it, it, it's like, it, it's like fucking like vegans 
who who use veganism they they lead that that like that's their lead personality like they introduce yourself they introduce themselves like hey i'm vegan okay like is that your whole fucking personality some of these motherfuckers in- introduce their game and and their whole personality is live service bro people can figure out the game is a live service you, you don't have to lead with that that doesn't have to be the biggest personality of the game let that be some background shit and and just and just happen don't lead with that don't make the whole UI um, main menu of your game look look like it's trying. It, it's like literally trying to lead people into a store to buy shit. People are buying shit in in Hell Divers. You don't think Hell Divers? You don't think people are buying shit from Hell Divers? They are, but Hell Divers too isn't is is in no way trying to guide you into their store. People are just doing it on their own because they want to. You don't got to lead with that shit. And I think, I would hope these executives, whoever, are starting to understand, understand that shit. Listen, Concord is either going to be lawbreakers or it's going to rival Overwatch. And regardless of the negative reception, like I, like I said, I don't really know. Just looking at the gameplay itself, I'm not thrilled about it at all like nothing about it necessarily excites me but i've seen the internet hate something and then when it comes out they love it so i'm not i'm not completely convinced it's going to be an absolute flop but i don't i don't think it's going to be um i don't think it's going to be a a breakaway success either i mean there's going to be a beta in you know august or july no in july right because it comes out it comes out in august i think and i think that is a smart time to release this game because you know august is kind of like one of those dry months where you people don't really uh you know there's not it's not like like a bunch of games releasing um at that time so i think that is a that is a smart idea um but yeah i i think it's not a coincidence that when a bunch of multiplayer only games started being developed is when like shit went like off the rails in my opinion because you don't have that single player foundation to like really be the uh you know to to really be what sets these games apart you know what i'm saying i don't think you get a gears of war for example on a gears of war multiplayer like i don't think gears of war the multiplayer exists or or somebody comes comes up with that game unless they make the single player first if you get what i'm saying like i don't think nobody would ever arrive at gears of war by just thinking about a multiplayer game that we want to make you know what i'm saying like the single player had to come first nobody was just going to think oh multiplayer game what are we going to do uh this this game that plays like gears of war shotguns all this shit. no it wouldn't have happened it would never have happened the 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 creative juices that comes with building a universe for a single player game and story that's what helps you come come up with a multiplayer like that it doesn't happen by itself by creating just a sh- by going straight to to thinking about a multiplayer game and i and i think that's one of the problems with the multi one of the biggest problems with the multiplayer landscape everything is just too much too everything's just too samey it's it's an issue man it's an issue and it's like even down to the art style why do you like i understand a lot of y'all games are gonna play the same way do they have did do they really have to even look the same way that shit boggles my mind bro you make them play the same right okay cool because you looking at other games and people like that play style does it have to also fucking look the same that that just doesn't make any sense to me bro i either and like I said, either, either I'm completely wrong about all of this shit and what I believe it will, will what a successful multi, breakout multiplayer will be, if, you know, and, and they'll see success if they do the things I'm saying. Either I'm completely fucking wrong or I'm an absolute fucking genius and all the big wig executives and people get, that get paid the big bucks and creatives are absolute idiots and I'm smarter than them. I don't know which one it is. I'm either an idiot or a complete genius yelling into the clouds, but nobody is listening to me. And 
I, I hope, I hope that I'm eventually right not to brag about being right, even though I do like bragging about being right, but more because I will be happier as a multiplayer gamer if I end up right. Because then I'll have some multiplayer games to play. But something has to change. Like I said, whether it's we go back or we go forward. But this shit got to change. Because I think I think you can capture you when, when there's a middle ground I think you can capture a, a new audience and the old audience. That's if if you do that, I think I think you're you're going to be the biggest winner. If you can capture the people like me who like the old traditional style of multiplayer games, but also still still like capture I guess the Gen Z, the 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 early 20-year-olds and if you can find a, a game that satisfies both, bro, why not do that? And I don't think I don't think it's really that hard. I don't think it's that fucking hard, bro. I I don't know, man. But these these are my thoughts. Just a rant. Um, Concord. I guess we, the the good thing about Concord, I guess, is we don't got to wait that long to see whether it's going to be a success or failure. It's going to come out in a, in a couple of months. And uh, if it fails, it's just more evidence that um. What I'm saying is right. If it, if it succeeds, it's probably because maybe it does something different that we don't know about. The PC community embraces it, yada, yada, yada. I don't, I don't know. I'm tired, man. I'm tired of talking about it. Um, I've been on an island talking about what multiplayer needs for a long time. And uh, yeah, I'm out. Hit the like button. Follow me on Twitter. Hit the notification bell. All that good shit. I'll catch you, catch y'all next time. Peace.